Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm keeping my voice down a bit. <laughs> so this video, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to pitch it, whether it's a rant or whether it's an observation or what it is, but look, I'm, I've found myself over these last couple of months, few months becoming a little bit, what's the word? Disenchanted with astrophotography or a little bit fatigued, I think, by astrophotography. Um, I think, I think since I, even I started, um, that that sort of uh, push for getting new gear and taking as many hours as you can of the objects, I actually think what I've found is over the time it actually has created more of a. It's turned the hobby for me into more of a technical. What should we say? It's more of a a technical pursuit of photography as opposed to actually being an experience. Um, an experience under the night sky, which is, it's had me a little bit disenchanted and a little bit looking to get back to why I was going out under the night sky in the first place. So this is not so much a, I'm not so much here to have a bit of a, to slay, sledge on astrophotography or to say there's anything wrong with it. I just think that it feels at least to me, and this could just be the way that that I'm viewing things, that there's such a saturation of gear at the moment, like mounts from different manufacturers, and there's a bunch of YouTube channels look like my own, but there's a bunch that are just doing like gear reviews as well. And it's just week to week, it's just the next camera, the next mount, the next, um, the next optics. And look, again, I've done one or two of these myself, but mainly I'm, I'm reviewing my own gear. I've only actually done, I think it's the one review of the SV Boney 122 scope, which they sent to me to review. And I'll say I found it intensely, an intensely boring experience because you just, you get this item. And of course the idea is now I'm just gonna put it on my mount. I'm gonna look at the optics. I'm gonna do some camera tests. It's eating up your time. When you're sort of thinking to yourself, isn't the purpose of this being out under the stars actually enjoying the night sky with whatever equipment you have? So there's this like kind of dual message I often find in the hobby of, on the one hand we're saying, get out there, experience it. But yet, if you look at the majority of videos, 90% of them are pushing, it's just gear. It's just like this camera, this mount, these optics, and this much data. Um, and yeah, I've come to a point myself where at least these last couple of months, I've mainly been using like this Skywatcher ED80 that I purchased secondhand here. Um, it's not a particularly big focal length. It's only 600 mil. Um, the eyepiece is on it, you know, with my diagonal. Um, I've made things much simpler. I've got my Atlas. I've got my Atlas here of the Southern, of the Southern night sky, which is great because it just splits it down into constellations for you. I've got a couple of other books as well, but I've been using that one quite a lot. Um, and I've got my little journal here, which I've been, which I've been writing in my experiences each night, sort of which constellations I've been in and which objects I've been looking at there. Now, of course, I do use um, an app on my phone. I do use Sky Safari Pro a little bit every now and again, um, although I tend to, I tend to mainly go off the the Atlas here. Um, but occasionally I'll use that if I'm struggling for either targets or to find my way around. And all I'm really using is a manual mount, my AZ5 mount, or I'm using my HEQ5 Pro with my little hand controller on it. And again, it's a weird thing, but I think it's getting that reconnection for me with the night sky. It's actually going out there to spend some time looking at something, think about what I'm looking at, and um, just spending a lot of time looking at the star colours that are there through the eyepiece and exactly how far away things are, um, the constellation that I'm in, um, the stories maybe that go with the constellation. Um, and look, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm interested to see how you guys are going out there because, again, um, I think it feels like the majority of the channels out there are just doing gear reviews 
And I understand why to an extent, because obviously everybody is, we're such a consumer driven society that whether it's about, you know, whether it's about hiking gear or whether it's about astrophotography gear or whether it's about musical gear or whatever it is, it's all about, it's all about the item that you're going to buy or purchase next. So yeah, I mean, I guess part of this is an observa my observation on how I feel about the hobby at the moment. Um, and maybe part of it is just about saying to people, um, you know, you can, you can actually go full circle with your experience. Like you can, you can go through having the, the kind of the, the good quality gear and taking these great astro photos, but you can ultimately come back to where you started, which is just wanting an experience under the night sky. So obviously I'm going to keep taking, I'm obviously going to keep taking images. I, I enjoy being under the night sky and, you know, whether it's taking sort of more landscape images or whether it's taking some long exposure astrophotography, but I am finding the break and getting back to using my eyes here really, really enjoyable. And that sometimes even can just be a pair of binoculars. Um, and I think, again, it's about re keeping that connection between you being outside under the stars as opposed to it, as opposed to it being another hobby where instead of sitting in front of a television screen, you're now sitting in front of your laptop screen or your, your, your computer screen. And um, it feels like a lot of us are almost chained to a, a desk, you know, where we're just, <laughs> we're just watching things um, and having this this very technical experience of the night sky, which again, it can be fascinating, but it also can um, suck up so much of your energy and time. And um, for me, the balance is kind of, it went a bit too far and I need to get back to um, using a telescope, using my eyes and thinking about what I'm looking at. So look, whether you're new to the hobby, whether you're a channel yourself who is, you know, producing content, I'm just interested to know how people I'm interested to know how people feel at the moment about their relationship to the hobby because I think it's something that you need to stop and think about as opposed to just, um, you know, necessarily keep repeating something that you're not particularly happy with. So let me know your thoughts. I've had a bit of a rant there. Thanks for sticking with me if you have. Um, so let me know. Yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. And um, yeah, I will. I'll catch you on the next video and we'll see how we're going then. See you next time.